This is just a, a little quick video about homemade mods. Uh, I've had quite a few homemade mods. I've had little box mods and um, uh, Altoids tins. I've had one of those. This one I said, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I need to have one. And Mitch uh, Insane Animal said, I will make you one. He's very sweet. This is an Altoid small. Look how tiny that is, okay? <laughs> so, you know, I like small. I like easy to handle. And this is small. It, it's, uh, well, I mean, if you've ever had a tin of Altoids, and uh, he made me this one because it's wintergreen, and you know, I'm Canadian. It's all about the winter here. Um, Inside, it takes a 14500 battery and had to go sideways with it. And he signed it for me. So I'm not doing the review because it's not a review. Um, I just wanted to talk about homemade mods. Honestly, they're very simple to make. Uh, and once you've made one, you could probably make 20. Um, but what I found was with with homemade mods, you get a you get a really good hit from them. I don't know. There's no crazy regulator in it or anything. It's just a straight connection from the battery to the connector to the switch. Really simple, and. Uh, inexpensive to make if you're handy at all um, you can try them out if you're I know Jib is going to do this on on his anniversary show but uh, if you think you don't know how or you think you not couldn't possibly do it you can get um, a kit that's ready to put together at Mad Vapes and they're like 10 bucks or something or less and has all the components and everything. So, I mean, for a little bit of money and a soldering iron, uh, you can figure out that you know how to do it. And once you do know, you will look at things differently <laughs> when, you're, uh, when you're shopping. Like, looking at a tin like that and say, ooh, a battery will fit in there. If a battery will fit in there with a little bit of room for a connector and a switch, that's not a lot of real estate to work with, but it's doable. Um, I've had a little Tums mod. I don't have it with me. I'd show you. Uh, I'll throw a picture on. But I find that uh, when you keep it simple to the basics, just a connector, you know, a 510 connector to the battery, to the switch, it, see, it, they all work very well. I just love how tiny this is, and I have a super short Ecardo, and I actually, this drip tip came with my NGP, and it matches perfectly. Here's what I did. <laughs> I know you're going to think I'm a nut, but uh, super shorties, I really love them, but you're constantly adding juice to them because they're tiny. So here's what I did. I made myself a little tiny tank <laughs> just for my Altoids mod. Look at tiny. Why don't I just show you? Do I have a tank in here? Yeah, I'll show you a regular size tank next to I know. Sometimes I can be completely ridiculous. Um, yeah, I just cut the tube. Now, this is. Uh, Yeah, it's barely functional. <laughs> totally ridiculous and barely functional, but you know what? It looks so gersh darn cute on a small. So yeah, I mean, if you if you know anybody that's handy at all that makes uh, and if you haven't had a homemade mod before, uh, you should try one because they really do work well. And it really lets you know that you really don't have to spend a lot of money. 
get yourself into Ace of Rats. Sumi Gun Santa Lord! Okay. <laughs>